Here we are with the main gold episode 11. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say let's get to the episode. Flashback time. This looks like the same place where they go to school. It has these white weird things in the sky. Oh, is this maybe the ghost thingy we saw? Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, what she wears is a bit like a nun, right? But maybe not. I don't know. Her hair looks different. I wonder if it's her, maybe. The nun. Sounds similar, looks a bit similar. Yeah, I wonder if she was a demon back then already, or... <clears throat> If she was a human? That would be interesting if she was a human, right? Because that would mean that she became a demon somehow. But I wonder how that could happen. And if she is a demon at this point already, then interesting that she like could get rid of her horns and all that stuff to look human, right? And yeah, I think this is the second last episode, right? I think next episode is the last. So what I guess is it will be this cliche thing. Not really in cliche, cliche, but like this episode, probably all backstory. And then at the end of the episode, we go back to the current time where we are. And the next episode, we resolve everything. <laughs> Which is like a short fight or something to the point that the other guy retreats or something. And then we just have like the aftermath basically until the end of the episode. <clears throat> that would be the cliche thing that we have now a backstory and then at the end of the backstory, at the end of the episode, we go back to the current time and then it cuts off. <laughs> That's what I'm expecting here. But yeah, here she has blonde hair, right? So it's maybe not the nun and longer hair and all that stuff. And she's hungry. And there's a choke. Yeah, I guess they don't have much money, right? <clears throat> and then something bad happened. Okay. I guess back then she had like happiness because she was happy, right? But now I guess her happiness is based on Alto. Oh, they hide the horns, okay. But the tail?
I mean, because they were maybe more common back then and did bad stuff. Some because something bad happened. Motherfuckers, beat him up. And then shit went down because they spread the rumors and all that stuff. Is she now realizing it and starts to hate her too? But this is so fucked up. Dude, she is the same. Oh, okay, good. I wanted to say, she's the same as before, too. So I hate on her, right? It's not, nothing different now. I thought she would walk away. But something bad must happen. Maybe they said that they would all be like uh, helping demons and all that stuff and got like, because we saw a fire, maybe they set the, uh, set the church on fire and say that they're like accomplices of demons. Yeah, here we go. I guess you won't. <laughs> they blame everything on her. Someone died, must be her. Uh, plague must be her.
Oh boy. And they hunt her. Oh my god. Is she sacrificing herself? Is that what she's thinking? Is she maybe going back and everything is on fire already? And it's burning. Even worse. Even fucking worse. Holy fuck. And then she's losing control, I guess. Did she grow when she turned into a demon? Like, going all out? I mean, she must be small again because we saw her sit in flames as a child. Yeah, okay. I guess that's the end of the flashback now. And then... The sand or whatever came around and sealed her. Well, I guess Alto's definitely fighting for her. I mean, they did it to themselves. They are pieces of shit and didn't deserve anything better.
200 years. Holy shit. Hell fucking yeah. We must protect. Oh, this is so good. That she can see him. No, you did. You did the right thing. Wrong. Yeah, fuck him. <laughs> Imagine Aldo would be like, yeah, fuck him. It's fine. Fuck him. That's wrong. And there's Lilia and the others. Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> the end is different than I thought. Oh, fuck, man. Is there an after credit scene? No. Okay, there was an episode. Let me know what you think. <sighs> but yeah, what an episode, right? I I had some teary eyes, not gonna lie. Um. I mean, I guess it's what you would expect, right? From the flashback and knowing what we know about her, right? But it's just so dumb, right? 
Because, I mean, I guess, like they said, they lived on the outskirts, right? In the abbey. And I guess it's not a big place, right? So everyone should probably know everyone, right? Because it's not that big. You would imagine that people would be like, oh, we know her for, for years. She was always a good girl. Now she's a demon, turns out. That's fine, right? We know her. We know that she's not bad. We know that she isn't doing anything bad. She's a nice little girl. But no, that's not how it is. Except for like a family, basically. Everyone else is like, dude, we have a plague. Pff, must be her. Fuck her. It's just so messed up. And I mean, I, I thought maybe because in the flashbacks we saw and in the intro we saw that she was sitting in flames and all that stuff. So I thought, okay, worst case scenario, they set the church on fire and the family of hers just gets burned to death, right? But nope, it gets worse. They just hang them and she sees it. That's pretty fucked up. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, obviously Alto is like, okay, here, yeah. fuck him. You're not bad. They're bad. I'm always at your side forever so yeah obviously we choose destruction here <laughs> no just no justice fuck justice we choose destruction here <sighs> and i can't wait for the next episode which will be the last episode i think and i guess this now unlocks her full potential i guess because before she was like restrained i guess because of all her past and all that stuff and because Alto is not doesn't know but now that Alto knows and accepts her for who she is I guess the restraints are off the gloves are off so I'm very interested in the, in the next episode how that will go man I already want a season 2 but I think there isn't enough source material to get a season 2 so maybe we have to wait a few years before we have enough source material to get a season two or maybe it will be something where it's like okay in a few years no one cares for it anymore and then they just don't do a season two but i would really like a season two <laughs> because now with the backstory backstory and everything i want to see where it's going right and one episode is not enough because like i said i guess next episode we go back to the past, obviously, uh, to the current time, obviously, and then I guess he will unlock new powers because, like I said, I guess the restraints are off, right? And then I guess they maybe push the guy back so that he has to go because otherwise he would maybe risk dying, I guess, if that's how it goes. Because otherwise, I don't see how they could get out of that situation, right? Because he's overpowering them right now, so unless. Alto and Vermeer get even stronger right now. I can't see how they can get out of that situation. And I guess then they just like wrap it up, right? Like the aftermath and all that stuff. Some talking, and then it's the end of the season, I guess. So yeah, I really want a season two. I want to see where it's going because this now opens a whole new world like of the relationship right because Alto knows her whole past now basically not all of it but like the worst part and the best part of her past um I mean otherwise he would have to recap on like 200 years of her being alone but yeah but yeah damn what an episode So yeah, I, I don't want to say if you like what you saw, because I didn't like what I saw with the shit that went down in this episode. I like this episode for the 
telling the backstory purposes, but not for what happened in the backstory. So yeah, thanks for watching, and until next time, bye-bye.